Yeah, I think that was really important um, in the context of bringing cricket back into Pakistan. Um, at that stage, there was zero cricket happening in Pakistan. There was not even the, the Pakistan Premier League at that stage. So that was the first um, step to bring any sort of cricket back. And I think what they did really well at that stage was to bring players from all around the world um, to come and play here with, to see that the security levels were going to be very, very good. And it gave players uh, peace of mind. You know, obviously I was there, I was captain that team. So for me to go back into South Africa and then speak of my experiences in Pakistan, uh, I felt safe. Um, that was the, that was a huge step in where we are today. So I think however many years that was ago, um, that was a, a really big step to bring cricket back to Pakistan. I didn't think, um, I didn't think, I don't know how long it was going to take for international cricket to come back. Um, at that stage, I knew it was a the first step, but I didn't know how long it would take to get us here today. Um, so then when I came back, um, even for the PSR, which was a, a very, very short stint because we had a little gap in our scheduling, um, even that, you know, I didn't quite know about the international tour, but now that we are officially back as an international team back in Pakistan, I think it's how it should be. You know, it's, it's important for Pakistan to play home conditions. Um, they've been playing in Dubai for the last um, 13, 14 years. Um, so their fans have never seen them play. It's almost like a generation um, that's missed seeing them play in real, in action. Um, so I think it's the way it's supposed to be. Obviously security needed a bit of an upgrade, which where we are now today, and it is. We as players feel very safe. Um, but obviously now the, the challenge with being back here in the context of COVID, the fans still can't see live cricket. So it's a bit of a bummer that that's the case. Um, but yeah, for us to be here right now, um, it means that other teams and other international teams will come after us. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I, I didn't see myself. Um, it's happening in my time. Um, obviously the last time was 13 years or so ago. Um, and knew that white ball cricket was happening here, yeah, but you know, red ball cricket, test cricket is something that I didn't think was going to happen this soon. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope, I hope that it's the same that it was 13 years ago where the wickets were flat um, and, and that us as batters can, can score some runs. But we'll have to see um, if it stayed the same because uh, it's been it's been a minute since the last time we played or, or cricket has played here in test cricket. I mean, I think as as any nation, they're very proud of their sporting team, but it's really when you're touring the subcontinent when you understand that um, better than anywhere else. You know, when you go to India, Pakistan, even Bangladesh, subcontinent teams are, they love their cricket. You know, they're really passionate about going to every match, um, supporting as well as they can, singing, chanting, whatever, the energy the whole day. So for Pakistan to have that back um, is, it's, it's gonna be a lot of, joy that comes for the people to see cricket live again, but obviously the, the challenge right now is perfect.